The Muslim holy month of Ramadan is upon us again and people across the world are fasting as well as spending much of their time contemplating and praying. Of course, the length of time a person fasts for varies depending on where in the world they live as the length is governed by the time of year and distance one is from the equator. Before one goes on to embark on this important religious obligation, one has to first consider his or her ability to do so health-wise. Bono East Regional Director of Health Services Dr. Fred Admok Watten admonishes Muslims to first know their medical conditions before embarking on the dawn to dusk fast of Ramadan. We, we all know the religious or spiritual benefits of fasting. I mean, for, for some of us, because of our beliefs, uh, it's one of the cardinal things that we, we, we do as a form of worship or whatever. But sadly, it's not everybody that can do. Uh, and we know, especially some people, some pregnant women, you don't really want them to be fasted because of the state that they are in. Some people on some medications too, because of the way and the manner in which they have to take their medicine. Obviously, you don't have to fast, but you have to know the limits. I'm not, I'm, I will not be able to prescribe who and what, because if based on your condition, then there is a need for you to look for or seek a medical advice. Notwithstanding, there are a lot of benefits in terms of fasting. And then when it's been done well, your concentration is even different. Half wife, mentally, physically, and all these. But you should know yourself. Now, even though scientific research has shown that fasting is good for your health and in terms of mental health, Ramadan fast improves mental health and depression symptoms. It is good to note that the recent change in climate which has led to a rise in temperatures in some parts of the world means heat-induced fluid loss from perspiration may lead to acute kidney injury which could lead to chronic kidney diseases in some cases. As a result, Dr. Fred Admarko Boatin advises Muslims to increase their intake of water before and after breaking their fasts, as well as take intermittent showers in order to stay safe. The weather is not friendly, but notwithstanding, it's a vow or something that you are doing. In relation to that, uh, depending on how you do it, you know yourself, if you take maybe one bottle early before six or whatever, can you take two? I mean, these are some of the things. And even in the midst of doing them, you really want to go that far. But you can. If there are other diverse ways that you can reduce, can shower. You have many different forms of do, do, doing this because at the end of the day, this is not somebody who see a chronic thing that you are doing. It's just a period. And this is a moment, a season. That will pass. And therefore, you want to take advantage of this season to get all the benefits, the benefits that you are intended. He however admonishes people who are having health challenges, particularly those going through extreme hydration, to take a break in order to take medical advice before continuing with their fasts. It's very important, so crucial that that is the baseline for which you will have to know yourself. If you are diabetic, hypertensive, you have to take particular drugs at some time and then you don't or you have to seek medical advice to do that reporting for joy news alas sabit teach man.